you know, a number a number of years ago, with, with, with a memory number of years ago, um, I gave a Tomer Dvorish here for the very first time in in, uh, in Australia, and um, somehow or another, Rabaltiski. Dushivastral, which all the the gong So I, uh, I was up with him somehow or another. He had listened to one of the tapes of the Kamarjvarish uh, hearing a little bit from then, and I said, oh, did, you, did, did you know, did like it?" <laughs> so he says, "What do you think you're teaching in the in, you know the Bardic in Europe?" <laughs> like it was only by such uh, madrigas, like uh, he gave you Busser. Like so, the truth of the matter is that. Um, I, I, I don't know if that was a compliment or did sort of working on this for about 15 years. <laughs> the, 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 the truth of the matter is, it's um, it, it's not it's the tr it's not me. It's the Tomer Dvor, uh, and it's not my minhag. It's the minhag of Klai Yisrael to learn Tomer Dvor. Um, but if you learn it correctly, it's extremely heavy. Uh, it's not a it's not an easy it's not an easy thing at all. And if it's, if it feels easy, it means that we're not learning it correctly. And uh, there's some things that you can give advice about, and some things you have to learn. I don't mean just learning a safer, but you have to spend your life learning. So, um, so, so just to, just before we finish up the the nice outline of the time of uh, just just welcome to my world for a minute. Uh, we just like, have extreme extreme, but have a husband and wife comes, and um, we have a problem, and the. Um, What's the problem? You tell him. No, you tell him. You tell him. You tell him. So, so the, um, the husband says, um, I had an affair. I had an affair. I had a, from people, he was. <laughs> I had an affair. So, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. like, what do, what do we, uh, you know, so, so I, 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 I feel bad about it, and I want to chuva, and I want to continue on with the relationship. Okay, I, I don't have anything to say. Um, but she says, I, for, I forgive you for, I forgive you. I forgive you for having the affair. Um, things happen, happens. I want to go further. I don't want our lives to be messed up. I don't want our children to be messed up. Machalach. Um, so it should be over, right? The meeting is over, right? But of course, the meeting's not over because um, the president says that's not good enough for me. It's not good enough for me because uh, yes, you forgive me, and yes, you want the marriage to go on, and yes, you want to continue. However, um, you are going to hold this against me forever. Um, you're always going to be mistrusting of me. Every time I'm out of the house, you can ask me where I am, what I am. So, like at this point, I'm saying to myself, listen. You made your bed. You got to sleep in it. I mean, like you know, you did have an affair. So I need, I need more than forgiveness. And um, the, the woman thinks it through, and she said, um, "Okay, um, we can we can work on that. You know, we can work on that, and it'll take a little bit of time. But we need to restore trust. And um, I understand where you're coming from. In other words, in other words." So the first, the first level, as the Goyne puts it, is salachti, slach lanu, machal lanu, kapir lanu. So the first level is slach lanu, okay, slicha, slicha, I, 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 I had an affair. Okay, salachti kidvarecha. Sega lanu is machal, which the Goyne points out, does not go, backtrack already, Slach lanu mecha lanu kaper lanu salat slicha mechila kapara chatasi avisi poshati. That's our trifecta here. Um, I did a chet seder. <laughs> I forgive you. Terrible. I forgive you. No, I want I want mechila. I don't want slicha. Slicha is when you bump into a person on the bus. You know what? Why are you getting on? Slicha. I said. In davar, say I can deal with it. I get over it in a second. You know, I can deal with it. Mechila is already a different level. That um, I, I want to restore the relationship the way it was. And after a couple of minutes of discussion, so the woman says, "Say machalti." That wasn't her words; it's my words. But b'seder machalti. 
is the meeting over? The meeting goes on and says, you know, it's not good enough. I'm having a hard time, the guy says, living with myself. Okay, you know, this is already chutzpah. Because, you know, for my part, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you back in. For my part, I'm, I'm, I'm letting the relationship be restored. That you're having a difficult time living with yourself. So, I mean, so you did a chet. If you did a chet, you have a hard time living with yourself. So, what do you, what do you want me to, what do you want me to do? Go see, go see a psychologist. You, you'll, you'll deal with it. Go, go, go. Talk to the rabbi. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're having this, having this, um, the, what's, what's the argument? Yeah, but the truth of the matter is that it's, the depth of our relationship is such that um, there's nobody else that can help me deal with this, this, this inner conflict and this inner struggle except for you. Uh, somehow or another, um, not, that it's, not that it's your fault, but somehow or another there's something here which is some type of, a, of a, maybe it's an addiction, maybe it's a tr childhood trauma, maybe it's, it's a horror, whatever you want to call it, um, there's something here, but, but, but like we're in this together, so I need you to, so, so what's the answer that we're, we're asking for already something which is beyond human of, of this woman? And, What's God's answer? Kaper This is so. It's interesting that there's slicha, mechila, kapara, chatasi, avisi, pashati. So the Goyen explains that slicha for chet, mechila for avain, kapara for pesha. So pesha. There's three levels of bakasha, there's three levels of tshuva, and there's three levels of HaKadosh Baruch Hu taking care of the tshuva. The, the, if, if, says the Tamer Dvara, if, if you're, you would say, which is natural to say, that step one is natural, the whole world understands that there's forgiveness. Um, even step two, you can, you can stretch yourself to step three is not something which is human any longer. It's not like, I should help you fix the chet that you did connect at me is doesn't doesn't it seems beyond not just beyond the call, call of duty to beyond the possibility altogether with the, it's it's so the answer is it is beyond the call of possibility except for the fact that we're equipped with being Salam Alakim. So since we're equipped with being Salam Alakim, our kochas are not human, our kochas are godly in this respect. Now um, very, you got to be very careful with this type of an idea because what happens what happens with this type of an idea is that one can become the uh, too accepting of abuse, which is that, which is not what we're, we're we're talking about. We're talking strictly in the Indian of forgiveness. So so what we learned yesterday is that however aver achas kinder like kateger achas says the term very layasa adam oven shlayivra mashchis. So besides for, it means to say, just, just to explain it and uh, to make a sequel, it means to say a person does a chet k'neged ha'kadosh baruch let's get back to Hashem. A person, a person does a chet k'neged ha'kadosh baruch so point one, you're over at Sinai. I asked you to do this, you didn't do this. You ate for the Eitz Adas. You ate for the, I asked you not to eat for the Eitz Adas. You ate for the Eitz Adas. Why are you eating for the Eitz Adas? Like, why don't you listen to me when I talk to you? There's a disrespect to ha'kadosh baruch so that's a chet. It's 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 relatively easy for Hakadosh Baruch Hu to to. I'm sorry, I'm talking this in human terms, but so we can understand the Sabra so it's Relatively easy for Hakadosh Baruch Hu to deal with the chet of you violated my rights. Some people have temporary insanity. People do things which are weird. You know, like everybody. You know, uh, you're on a diet. You break the diet. You're, you're you don't want to talk flesh and heart. You talk flesh and heart. Okay, but say I cannot. It's it, it's a it's a chet, but okay, well. Or so, so slicha, slicha. Uh, but then a person does an avera lo yasa dem avin, avin, avin. Shlayivra mashchis. A mashchis is a different thing. You've ingested the chet. Adam Arisha not only ate from the etzadas and violated his will, he he ingested the avera, and now what happens is he's got a conflict within. There's a different issue than than I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. This is an issue of I'm sick now. I'm, 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 I'm sick. I, I, I have this mashchis within me. Avisi, says the guy. This is, this is the nakuda uh, of avon, a much more difficult thing to, to deal with. You know, it's, um, 
I was thinking about this this morning. I know this. I know this is weird, but I was thinking about it this morning. Like, like you know, you, person eats, and your body is very, very efficient at separating good from bad and, and uh, eliminating that which is bad. You know, if you're a healthy person. And, but you know, what if you, what if you like drink poison? Yeah. Have a glass of poison. So like, so you die. Why? <laughs> like, why does the body become so weak now to to? Uh, to not be able to just uh, reject the, the, the poison that, that, that he had. And okay, it's not good for me. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit sick. Maybe there's a process. Maybe you know, I'll be tired. But like, why, why do you die? I mean, like, why, why, like, why does it have such a, a strong effect? You know? and in, in fact, I think what, what happened, you know, the famous story of the Rambam that uh, you know, he, knew, he knew the people in his, uh, the palace were jealous of him who were trying to. Uh, to try to poison him, he understood with his chachma that they wanted to eliminate him, the Rambam. So, um, so his seder was that he t he ate a drop of poison every single day. Um, drop, you know. So it was the first um, um, antibiotic, not antibiotic, vaccine. Uh, vaccine. Vaccine, yeah. The Rambam's vaccine. You know? So he vaccinated, basically vaccinated himself against against poison. So now they gave him a whole uh, uh, cup of poison. So, so, didn't have any uh, effect, you know. So that's that's a good thing, um, but you know, it's, it's interesting when you start vaccinating yourself against lush and horror, You know, a little bit every day is you get used to it. You get used to it. And it's uh, it's it's okay, you know. Like, uh, I mean, it's horrendous for any of us to think out to go out and eat some, uh, you know, to go out and buy a, like a, a pork sandwich or something like that. You know, but. Uh, but it's a bit slow. Depends <coughs> on you know, like you, you, a little bit of this. You know, start off with start off with a bad hashkacha, then you move on. You know, little by little by there. There's a program that you can go on that it doesn't. You don't feel too bad about. But um, and before you know it, you're eating you're, you're eating treif. So what? But I just what I want to bring out is that the the mashkis. In other words, when you ingest something bifnim, so what happens with the poison? The poison becomes a real stira to everything that's supposed to be going on in, in your body. So you have there a serious conflict and, and you know it needs it needs its antidote. It needs its uh, something it needs some way to get rid of the poison. So that's really that's a slicha machila. Machalanu, slachlanu, machalanu. But and, and and even after so in other words just can I live with this? But now we are coming and we're saying, but I want to get this completely out of my system. And who we're coming to? We're coming as uh, other merchant coming to our Kodesh Baruch Hu, um, and I want to get this completely out of my system. But you put it in your system. Like, why shouldn't you struggle? Why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't you have to deal with this? The answer is Kapar <laughs> Lo, right? Give us Kapara, and what do we have? We have Yom Kippur. Kippur. It's not a Yom Slicha. It's not a Yom Achila. It's a Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. It's a day of cleansing. So it's a, it's the, the Yom Kippur is the highest madrega possible. In your muscle, you brought up the, the distinction between the spiritual and the physical, with the poison and dying, and uh, it's the same thing with, with everything, really. Every every chet is a spiritual and a kind of physical manifestation. There's a physical manifestation. There's a physical manifestation. Right. Now, I, I, yes, yes, you can feel it. It's if you're a sensitive neshama, and if you're not, then you're in bigger trouble. If you don't feel it, you're in bigger trouble. So I, I just want to do the Torah. Torah doesn't give the bushel that I gave of Adav Arisha. He goes all the way, and, and it just, it's, it's much could die for us to learn this. It's not, he's the bushel of Kain and Hevel, which is a different, think about it. Um, like if he wants to give a bushel of an Avera, so the first Avera, he doesn't go to the first Avera, he goes to the second one. The second Avera is that, that Kain kills Hevel. Uh, the the Seder Advar is, is fascinating because I don't know if everybody realizes this. A story by he have a side, the kind of Ivan Adaba. He was a right side, he was an Ivan Adaba. He had sheep, he had crop. Uh, Kai brings a carbon of fruit and vegetables. The Hevel Kai brings from what he has, which is the Hevel says it's a good idea that Kain had, and he brings he brings from some a stronger carbon. But it's not it's not 
the, the world was divided into two. Uh, we're two brothers. I t I'm taking the livestock, and you're taking the fruit and vegetables. So, so when you're not, if you would, you, if you were going to bring a garment from livestock, you'd have to be stealing from me. So I'm bringing for what I have. Yeah, so Cain is a, a good man. No, I mean, he's taking taking what he has. Uh, he has the lesser, the lesser, at least by carnivoric uh, mind. <laughs> he has the lesser of the two. Uh, pieces over here. He has the and he comes and he brings a car. But yes, uh, like uh, Kain is a good man. Hevel is the copycat. Hevel, Hevi Gam, who he's he's the one who's copying me. Chayyus so a good idea, Kain, and I'm going to bring also, and I'm going to outdo you. <laughs> I'll outdo you. So who's good? Who's bad here? Kain is the the the, the, the righteous one. Though. Hashem, lo and behold, vayish Hashem el Hevel. No, Hashem listens to Hevel. We don't know why, really. I mean, there, I'm sure there's there's many before Hashem, many Chazal, but for the Chumash, you don't know why why this would be. Now, this is interesting. Just a couple of you here. Now, it, uh, Kain was not. I, I believe that the pasuk is telling us that Kain was not a a born Russian. Even a jealous person, he certainly wasn't a murderer. This was not what was going on with Cain. I, I, we probably like a uh, Russian Shiva with a long beard and, you know, an odd respondent, a person. However, he suffered from two things. He suffered from anger, and he suffered from depression. Two things, not, not riches. <laughs> and these, you know, he didn't do anything, he just was angry and depressed. So he says, How do I know I'm right? Hashem comes to Kain. Kain didn't do anything wrong. Kain didn't kill Hevel. It's just Kain's, Kain's was not listened to. I see two things with you. I see you're angry, and I see you're depressed. Like, two things. These are the two mitos which Cain had, which are, which can, Hashem is stopping him right now. Look what's going on here. Gentle, this is like an amazing thing. Hashem is stopping him right now and saying to him, let me, let me help you. <laughs> you have two problems going on here. You have an anger problem and you have a problem with depression, which are obviously two closely related issues. So Hashem gives him a little muster here. Nothing. Tishma. Haloi. Who knows the Pasuk? Imtetiv says. Vim loy seitiv lefesa chatos reibets. Does anybody have any idea what that means? <laughs> it's like one of the most perplexing, uh, hard to translate sukkim. <clears throat> I think I know what it means. Haloy imtetiv says, you have a choice right now. In other words, Hashem intervenes. This is, a, this is a serious intervention into the anger and depression problem that Kayan is suffering right now. He's walking, we don't even know that this all happened at the same day. But it, 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 Kai's walking around angry, he's walking around depressed, I'm upset. You have a, a Shem's intervention. Look at the Lushen. Se'es, maskir. No say of him. Right? Hashem tells him, intative says, you can do the right thing now. You can, you can, you can, you can deal with this, you can grow with this, you can be taitiv. In taitiv, I read you the art scroll. Hashem said to Kai, why are you annoyed? Why has your countenance fallen? He's depressed. Surely, if you improve yourself, you'll be forgiven. Forgiven for what? He didn't do any chet. He must have done something wrong, first of all, because his carbon wasn't accepted. What did he do wrong? He's walking around angry and depressed. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was what he did, his attitude. Intentiv says, we loisative. Now, if you don't improve yourself, you're, you're at a crossroads now, kind. If you don't improve yourself, lefesach chatos rovates. If you do not improve yourself, sin rests at the door. You're, you're walking right into it. Tie in. It'll be a tremendous pull, a tremendous taiva, a tremendous chuka to you. And you'll 
Beilechot shukasev ato. Vayomer Kain al Hevel Achiv. Kain had this discussion with Hevel. Vayakem Kain al Hevel Achiv v'yargeim, and he killed him. Meaning, here he was at a again. There was no rishus here, but there was there was um, there was a point of something that he did wrong that Hashem, which is machlokes and chazal. Why did Hashem not accept his garbage to begin with? His reaction of being very upset, very annoyed, very depressed, right? So HaKadosh Baruch intervenes and says, look, you, you now, say, say, I'm, I'm carrying you now. You now have to make a, a choice as to whether you're going to deal with this and improve yourself or whether you're going to let it go into your taiva. Um, next thing we know, Cain kills Hevel. So at point three, um, Cain messes up. Kills Hevel, Hashem approaches him, why'd you, why'd you kill him for it? Why'd you kill him for what you, What'd you do this for? And look, listen to this. This is the God will have I need me to say. Nice of him. Mamish the meat of Roshgar. Nice of him. God will have I need me to say what? You, you can't continue to carry me? So um, what, what, it, what it means here is Hashem, he makes his choice. Slicha, <laughs> I made a choice, okay? I'm not going to accept your car. He, he, he reacts completely wrong. Kaddish Baruch says, okay, I'll help you. He continues to do the, set, the, the chet, and Hashem says to him, and Hashem says to him, no, no, to your bar, it's, and, and what's, it's like a chutzpah. His, his time on Kaddish Baruch what? You can't continue to carry me? God will offer you, said, this is too big for you, too heavy? You can't. This is like like a, a wife's a husband saying to his wife, like you know, I, I don't want to deal with it, and, and, and how am I going to deal with it? Anyways, I'm going to have to. He says, "God will have a deep insight." Hey, Gerashi, I say about play out, dummy. You're throwing me out of gun. You're throwing me out of the whole area over here. We put Nefla as saucer. I'm going to hide all the time. I use him nod with nod, but arets. I'm going to have to. I'm never going to be able to take root. Everybody who sees me is going to want to kill me. You know, um, you know, where do we come from? Who's, who's our uh, grandfather in this, in this uh, chase? That's a chase. Chase. So we're B'nai Chase and B'nai Kayin because um, Noach was from B'nai Chase, but Yisra Kayin as an Amma, that she was the boss to Valkayin. Mm-hmm. So, so at, at the time after mm-hmm. the Mabul, when, they, when, when you had Shem and Chambi office, all, all of us became Chetzi Chetzi. Um, and, and since we became Chetzi Chetzi, says the Zayar, we're completely nov and nod by Yigar Ritna. This is the Xeris Golas that came on us. We, we, we don't found Rukomoitzi Yargain, everybody wants to kill. This is the, 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 the Tikkun, still the Tikkun of, of this. What I'm, what I'm saying is that the final third part of the Tikkun. We're still we're still working on, but this is the important point that I want to make. What does it mean that we're working on the final ticket? This is exactly what he's saying. That it's not easy. You can't expect. Um, let's go back to my bushel. You can't expect the wife to say, "Okay, I'll work with you on this. You'll be okay," unless she's a because that would be accepting abuse. You can't. You can. Ex- you can expect her to say, possibly, if she's a great woman. You know, you can expect her to say, "Okay, I'll, I'll let it go." This time, you could expect her to say, uh, "We'll restore our relationship." Expect her to say that, "Let's work on this for the rest of life." Who wants to work on this for the rest of life? With your problem, you know. So the answer is that this, this, that's already a big, big process. Nobody can expect it to be a small process. If I would just say, "Okay," that I'm accepting abuse, but it's a big, big process. So Akharish Baruch Hu says, "To Kayid, that's the Bukhar that's brought over here. That I'll work with you on it. I'm not going to die." For killing, for killing Evel, you're not going to die, but it's going to be a process. There's, there's, there's a very, very serious and difficult process. And and and, and Kai says, can you get a make it a little bit? The process is still going on till today. Bayigar <laughs> Ba'eretz Noid, living in Node. We're all a bunch of nodes. We still can't find Gan Eden. Can't still find Gan Eden. Well, the tikkun of ultimate tikkun of of uh, of the Bria. Is not only being masak in the chet of Adam and Chava, but it's being masak in the the chet of Cain and Hevel, which was an extension of such. In other words, the the just to be matched the two, the 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 charonath, the the nefilas of of Cain 
was was the head of the Eitz Hadas that other Mauritian ingested. So this is okay. Meaning that Averger is Averger, as he puts it. That that now that you've taken the Eitz Hara, think about it. Now that you've taken the Eitz Hara, as we said in the Midalov, me bachutz, and you brought it bifnim. Um, how is it going to manifest itself? The Yitzhar becomes a son. Who Yitzhar? Who has son? So how does it become this? This is, this is a generational thing. Adam and Rishon had Yitzhar. Papa Adam Yitzhar ingested the apple. It became a conflict within us. How does a conflict? What, what do we? What do we do when we're in a conflict? What do we do? We get angry. We get depressed. And what happens? We get angry. We get depressed. We, do, we, we, we kill somebody. Things. We kill somebody, right? Uh, literally, figuratively, verbally, somehow or another, we kill somebody else. And that's that's what happens. Yeah, right? I agree. That's sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you can try, you can shoot upwards too. But the, but the, the 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 thing is that this is this was the pro- the generational process is the same process that happens within. Supernatural extension. It's from kind, and then every every door that you see. Every day, okay, every, 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 every Hashem, in certain ways and proceeded. Right. So in other words, Hashem gave Kayan seven generations, Kol Hori Kayim Yeshiva Saim Yukam, gave him seven generations, like Shiva Nakim, to, to get rid of this. I'll give you time. I'll give you time, I'll give you time, and I'll work with you during that time. Now, we, we did and we didn't. We ended up with a mobble. That's not, that's not very good uh, progress. Um, we got back to ourselves. We ended up with Migdal uh, Bova. We got back to ourselves. We ended up with the Chorban Bayis Rishon, Chorban Bayis Sheni, etc. Here we are. No v'nod, kol moitzi hargeni. It's it's not by accident that this is the, this is the exact description of the condition of the Jewish people. Not, I don't want to uh, depress anybody, but but that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. No, I just like you know uh, you know what what came to you know what, we just went through a war here. Probably through a war, however you want to look at it. Like, what was the, uh, to me, anyways, what was the most uh, pronounced, I'm just saying it as a bushel, the most pronounced message from Shabbayim, that, and, and, and the most uh, you know, profound Kiddush of the whole thing, is that, no, everybody still hates us. Uh, I'm, I'm, doesn't mean, I'm not saying that we've got to walk around all day, you know, paranoid. I'm, I'm just saying that, no, but no, you know, the, the, we start feeling very um, comfortable. I, I mean it in a, in a positive way. And in America, I mean, where I grew up, so um, Jews feel very comfortable by and large. Um, that, that was very expensive. That, that, that very, very expensive. It required a tremendous amount of assimilation and intermarriage, and you know, uh, we really had to marry into the right places and go into business with the right places. And, and uh, very, very expensive. But uh, okay, we figure at least at least the Chol puzzles we lost ninety percent of the people. At least we, uh, at least they, they don't want to kill us anymore. P.S. <laughs> they want to kill us. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, this one can kill two million people. This one can kill two hundred thousand. You know, like and everybody's judging Klai's are on all different. Uh, Standard, so it's it's um, it's, it's kind of like uh, what we need to be masakin here, lachar al is is exactly this nakuda of of the shivasayim yukam kain that, that we have we have seven generations or seven times seven or however the mukabalim put it to 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 get to do what not to say I'm sorry we did that already not to not but to to to, to work out the mashkis from within us, and it, it requires a, a process of apparently thousands of years, a process of working it out until we can come to a cleansing place, a place of, of, of cleansing. So that's, that's the Ben Amla Makom. Let's make it full circle here, because we start with, I've just started with Ben Amla Chaver, because that's a martial place where we can understand it. It's really a martial to Kodesh Baruch in, in our relationship. But the whole time it is about Kodesh Baruch is just a martial to us. <laughs> Like, 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 how does this work in our own relationship? It works the other way around. So the mushal becomes the nimshal, if, if you will. So, um, so let's just learn inside very, very uh, clear and succinct. Quickly from the beginning. Oy made lifna Akharish Barak Lumaimer Plani Osani. Vain Briya Miskayemas Ba Oilam Ella Vashifa Shala Kharish Barak Bariya Mashka says El Oymid Lufana Bubame Miskayim. I did nice in Shamar Kharish Barak Ainizan Mashkisa. Kayin, you have a problem? 
sorry, you know, like if, um, you just like you killed Hevel, kill yourself. You have a problem? Uh, you're coming to me to help you with the problem? Hatasa Avisa Pashat. Killed somebody. I could easily say, Ainizan Mashkisen. And now what would have happened I think the Gemara says when a person does a chet they should really die right away it's poison it's a poison and we're not so um, um, you know, we don't have such a uh, tolerance to it so we should, we should, um, we should really die right away but a Kaddish Baruch Hu is nice say, I, mean, I, I didn't swallow well you swallowed the poison but a Kaddish Baruch Hu is letting us live in Kayan's case seven generations seven times seven times seven right keeps on going what what should have happened? Um, really, a person the, the, the maskus should be let to go because it wasn't created by us. It was created by the free choice of, of, of Adam, and it would have been miad noitol nishmasa. I'm sorry, poison. I can't coexist with an neshama. There's a there's a there's a steer here. I get a tremendous oydish until you knock the the chet out of Oishi Yispatol Abashkos Sahu Achi Yispatol Abashkos Uveina Kadosh Baruch Hu Now here is Hashem does not do this. Ella, what does he do? Noisei v'soivol ha'avay. K'moishu zan ha'elam kulai. Kadosh Baruch Hu will carry the sin, like our friend the banker we're talking about yesterday says, "I'll carry you." See, it's a, it's a, the, 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 the chutzpah when a person messes up with the bank, doesn't pay their bills, doesn't pay, balances their checks, you know, every, every, doesn't pay their mortgage, everything, everything's wrong, wrong, wrong. The bank says, what's going on over here? Can, you know, Kevin, let's talk about it. And he says, okay, I need a, I need a, you know, I'm usually good, I'm going through a difficult time, so what's going to be? Well, why don't you lend me another $100,000 and then I'll be able to pay everything. Yeah. Now, it sounds weird, but that's what everybody does, right? It's a consolidation, right? So, so, so the bank carries you. In, in, in vernacular, the bank will carry you if you're a good customer. So, Kadosh Baruch Hu is noise v'soyvel ha'avad. Now, it doesn't mean that it goes without yisura, but without bezyardus, and without having to pay back and make a program and make a payment. It's not just, okay, you're off the hook. That would be accepting abuse at a human level. It's a, let's make, let's make a plan. Let's make a plan, but it's a, the, the, the chutzpah of going to the person you violated or the institution you violated and asking them to make the plan for you is like an amazing, or to help you through the plan, is an amazing chutzpah, which banks do and Hashem does. So it's good. I'd rely more on Hashem. So even though there's something wrong here, there's a hole in my uh, finances that's draining out the money, um, you know, whatever, whatever it might be, I'll, I'll carry you until you straighten out that hole, until you figure it out. I'll, 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 I'll carry you. And, and here, this is where it feels unkind, but then you realize how kind it might be. So again, if you go back to our original example of um, husband violates wife, um, it's not a, okay, we'll do that too. It's, it's, it doesn't, that's nothing. It has, there's a process of time here, or in a process of tshufa. So there's three things that could happen. You choose. Oi, again, I'm carrying around this hat. Oshi yashuva choite b'tshuva. Option one. V'yichaleu v'yivatleu b'sikufav. And where necessary, a person could take upon themselves certain sikufim, like fasting on Yom Kippur, and somehow or another, that um, can get rid of the hat together with tshuva. Kapara, Yom Kippur, Kapara. Um, that's one way. If you don't choose that way, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu's program is, it makes you like Tshuva here, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's program is, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, let's, let's, let's see if you're going to uh, do, do Tshuva, but if you don't do Tshuva, so then Yisurim could come on a person, God forbid, those are the three options. You, know, you get it here, you can get it there, or you cannot get it all by just doing tshuva. In other words, a person goes through a program where, this is the good news, a person goes through a program where they eradicate the ra from within them, but it's not about, you know, this is not like this, this is a real program of eradicating ra from within them. First you have to find the ra, like it's a hard thing to locate. Uh, if you're married, it's easier. That's, like your, your wife tells you what your problem is, so it's, it's easy. 
was somebody told me yesterday, I don't need Google, I'm married. <laughs> How do you think I need to know my wife? <laughs> That's the, uh, the, 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 you know, so, so, so whatever, whatever the, you have to find the Ra, so in the case of Kayin, the Ra was Haron Af and the Philos Hapayin, depression and anger. So you have to find the source of the Ra, and then there's a program. Five steps, 12 steps, 150 steps, whatever the program is, and that's the program of Chuba. So the Baruch will allow that. Program A. If you don't, know, if you don't embark on that program, you sur mumisa. It's another way. There's also rachamim from Hakadosh Baruch. It's another way. A third way. You don't, you don't get you sur mumisa. Like if you're not, a, if you don't have any vir, um, virtue at all, any value at all, Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, "Look, I'll take care of it later." And yelos begehat no v'sham yifrachoyim. Behind Usham are Kayin, so to get a clear, this is what Kayin meant. We just learned the Sukhi of Kayin. Godala Avoyni means Sai. An amazing parallel of Noise Avoyni. Godala Avoyni means Sai. Pirsha Chazal. Kola Oilam Kulaya to Soivel. Kayin said, The whole world you can handle. You can, uh, what was the whole world altogether? It wasn't that many. But Kola Oilam Kulaya to Soivel. You can't you can't handle my avera. Purish lefarnas say acha ashuva say give me time. So Hashem says okay, I'll give you time. I'll give you time. I, I I'll give you time. So so here's here's the acting godly is okay. You've got seven generations, not seven minutes. You have seven generations, and if you don't do it, Hashem does another seven. Minutes. Like we we can we can do it. Okay. All right, Mita Savlanus Gedoyla she yazim v'yifarnes beria ra she yifra hachayta. He's walking around plagued. He's walking around hunted, and Hakadosh Baruch Hu is mefarnes it so that maybe you will do tshuva. Ad yoy moisai yichak eloi. Right, ad she yashiv. Yomayt haadam. So finishes off the time. Very here base. Kamatzar she yasavam. This is all about in our relationships. Now, now remember the vicious, the very, very fast turning circle that's going on over here. Because again, we start off with understanding. The only way we can understand is by understanding our own relationships. Okay, now we attribute that to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Now Hakadosh Baruch Hu says you're godly, so now you have to do this in your relationship. And now Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, okay, you did it in your relationship. I'll do it in my relationship with you too. So the more, the more that we are so vel. So, but here we're talking about midas hasavlanus. No, you say of it. Somebody. Somebody uh, offended, somebody sinned against you in the worst possible way. You have to consider, uh, which is beyond human. Like, like a person could, could already say, as I said yesterday, I'm only human. But only human is a big thing because human means to be the tzalim and the Like only human is, is a, so the steering and they obey. It's a, okay, what is it? What we do? Only human. The human is big. Human is telling you're not a rabbit, not a tree. Human. So human has tremendous kochas of bechira. So with a tremendous kochos of Bechira, you can be no seyavon. It sounds like way too much, but you can be no seyavon. It means if somebody really, not just hurt me, but somebody really hurt me and feels terrible about hurting me and is struggling with it and is going into a whole psychological um, um, chaos, falling into depression and anger because they hurt me. So, um, you know... <laughs> You know, this is, whose problem is it? Psychologists like to say, well, you have to decide. Whose problem is it? Is it my problem? It's your problem. It's your problem. So what do you want from me? So comes the Kaddish Baruch and he says, okay, I'm helping Kayan out here. Killed half a civilization, but I'm helping him out. Uh, killed half of what I created, but I'm helping him out. And I'm no sale, and I'm going to give it a lot of time, and I'm going to help him. I'm going to give him his service for tshuva. So, you know, we can crawl into the relationship, says, Lispol ol chaveroi virausa shahara adshir kazeh shahadayin raasa kayemes shechata negdai. You haven't even eradicated that which caused you to go against me to begin with, and I'm helping you. So why do I have to help you? So first of all, I have the co-op to, but why do I have to help you? It was ridiculous. Uh, just, just walk away from it. What's the, uh, just go walk away from it. So the, 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 the real answer is that the, the need for the patients here is not just that we have the co-op because we're Mitzel Elohim, but the reason that Hashem helped Kayin for so long and, until and is still waiting for us to make the ticket, and we're still not in the same situation. The reason he's still waiting for this ticket is because the truth of the matter is Hashem is the only one who can help us. Was he supposed to, what, what, you know, I mean, what kind of coach Barbara said? Somebody else help you? 
that he created us. You have to help us. He's the only one who will help us. How, can, how, else can, how else can we deal with our problems if we don't? If, the only, if somebody has violated us, the truth of the matter is the only one who can help that person is us. Because they can't go to a third party to help them. It has to be us because we're the ones that we're, we're, we're partners in the, in the crime. Not guilty partners, but partners in the crime. You know, we're part of it. So, so, so part of what, what um, the husband does to the wife has to do with this dynamic. So the whole dynamic has to be <coughs> examined and fixed. Uh, is this a process that any of us should, should have to go through in our life? The answer is no, until the Torah says so the answer is yes. <laughs> that you have to, that, that, that being godly is to find, here's some good homework, you've got to find the one person who really annoys you, <laughs> the one person who's really offended you, or the one person who's, who's, who's really um, violated uh, you, and figure out how you can help that person. Not in a, not in a uh, condescending way, not in a patronizing way, but figure out how, how I can help the person. Well, why should I help them? They hurt me. The answer is, that there, here's where the circle goes. We can help them um, because Hashem gives us the cost and sell them when we can. That's, that's what it means. We, we can be no say of and like Hashem is. We should help them uh, because we're the only one who can help them. And the mountain schar of if we do help them, then the Baruch is a bigger nice, we're, we're creating an energy of nice say of where a Baruch then begins to carry our sins even more, it has more patience with us. So our patience is guarding the patience uh, Lamala. And it's a lot of patience. I mean, when you, when, you, when you think about thousands of years and you look at the mouths of, of, of the Jewish people, by the way, I don't mean necessarily like them. I don't, I don't, you know, it's them, but them are Tinoikish and Nishpur. But when you, you, know, you find people even, you know, I don't want to say anything bad, but I mean, you find people even within that, like, like where did that come from? You know, there's still Sinas Chinam, right? The Gemara says there's a time when uh, they learned Tyra, they, they didn't do Gilai Rais, they didn't do Abba Nazara, they didn't do Shri Chastav, Ela Sinas Chinam. So, we passed us that a Ben Tyra who knows Kola Tyra Kula does not kill it anybody. How did it? The answer is that, that that's, that's, that, that's the eight Sahara that comes in there. So, it requires more patience for Rokhadosh Baruch. More patience and more patience and more patience. So, the, 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 that patience has to be transferred. It seems to me that there's um, a lot of people who don't want to be helped, and that's why Hashem gives us court systems, gives us Bate Dina, because if they, if they don't want to be fixed. Somebody has to try and fix them. Fix society. Fix society. Like uh, you talked about a court system fixing society. Not you fixing talked about them. a bank. There's bankruptcy courts. People don't want to stop spending over the. Uh, so, so good point, actually. So I talk about somebody who wants to be helped. Right. Uh, or is this process begins because Kayin is fetching to Hashem right. of Gadol Avodim right. Bitzai. You need, you need to mark a uh, exclamation mark in your commission because <laughs> people don't do the trouble with it. Gadol Avodim Bitzai. Gadol Avodim Bitzai. Like is it, is it, is is my head too big for you? That was a challenge to Hashem. Is this too big for you? Is this too hard for you? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's in the fire ship? Who's in the fire ship that gets me out? Positive shot. Arch girl. It's positive shot. The purpose of the the whole reason that Hashem is is no seavon is so that we can continue to fulfill our shlichus, which is for for Hashem's hatava to to be expressed. It sounds more like a, a bit of a selfish type of, you know, you know the original I'm question. Uh, Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. Meaning the question of, well, why doesn't he just stop us? Why doesn't he just, you know, it's not even a question. This it, it, whole, the whole, you know, the. Yeah, it's interesting that the, 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 the Zayar says that that's the title that we come to the Hashem with, is free for us. It's a, it's a funny kind of selfish because it's a selfish resolve of Chesed. It's like saying a person is a great philanthropist because I feel good when I give it to dog. And so. for us, it's much harder because we're not even doing it for our, to be mashed we're, we're doing it for a selfish way. If we do it correctly, it would be for, for a selfless purpose because we're just do, we'd just be doing it. Uh, I wonder if that's true. It's a very, very, um, I don't know if there's any more uh, gratifying 
a feeling in life. No, that means no say No, but fine, but there are two issues. One is the gratification that we would receive, but, but the, I mean, if, if we would do it for the proper purpose, then I mean, it's, a, it's just taking Hashem's, you know, I mean, we're, we're getting something from it. So we're more altruistic than Hashem. <laughs> Not here. I mean, it's, it's, good, it's, it's a good heart. Uh, it's a good heart. <laughs> Philosophical. You wouldn't be getting the gratification that we would get, presumably. But but the point is, we're part of a design. Like like uh, you know like people like a malaf saying, "Well, I'm only a malaf." <laughs> it's, it's it's part of the design about Kodesh Baruch Hu's hatav. Kodesh Baruch Hu's hatav is ultimately good for Elam Chesed Yibana. To say it's good for Akadosh Baruch is, it doesn't make any sense. To say it's pure on top of that makes it pure type. Type the make pure type. That makes it feel good, like we're not going to treat it. What number are